What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are actually going to be attempting to feed the octopus. Also giving you a little update on him and everything that's going on with him. I haven't given an update on him in a minute. So we're going to be doing that today. Also while we're at it, we're going to head to the store, pick up some live ghost shrimp and see if he'll eat them. I haven't gotten him on camera to eat yet because he mostly hunts at night, but we're going to try. I'm going to try. I turned off the lights and I actually, I'm not going to tell you what I did, but I moved him somewhere. You're just going to have to wait to the end to see where he is. But he's doing awesome, and we're going to give you a full update. You're going to be able to see him, and it's going to be sick. But for right now, we're going to head to the pet store, see if they got any ghost shrimp. And if they do, we're going to pick some up. We're definitely feeding the octopus, and then we have leftovers. We'll feed other tanks. So I'll see you when we get there. All right, we are here at Pet Supermarket. I'm hoping they have some ghost shrimp. Sometimes they don't, but we're about to find out. Okay, this is where they would be, and I'm not seeing any. Okay, so um, as you can see, no ghost shrimp. Um... I have a bunch of dope freshwater fish though. Let's see what else we can maybe find. Maybe we can hit, oh, that is the biggest angel fish I've ever seen, right? Yeah. It's almost the size of my hand. Or it is, Look at this one. literally the size of my uh -huh. hand. What about this one? Got some guppies up here. Those ones are cool. I miss the freshwater. I, every time I see <laughs> freshwater fish, I think of Paul, literally. Because every time we used to come to the same pet supermarket. For the OGs, comment down below right now if you remember this pet supermarket that me and Paul went to all the time to film. Look at this, a little Florida gar. Just chilling at the bottom. Pretty big one. That one's scary, huh, Maddie? Yeah. Okay, so no ghost shrimp at this one. So we're going to try another pet supermarket kind of right down the road. See if they have any there. Yeah, so stay tuned. I'm hopping in the car. We're going to head to another pet supermarket. Hopefully this one has live shrimp. If not, there's one last option. So just stay tuned and we'll see if they do. At the second pet supermarket. All right, we're gonna see if they got anything. Hopefully they do. Fingers are crossed, fingers are crossed. See koi fish? Holy, look at the size of this arowana in here. No, oh my Holy. God, that's... We got a massive old silver arowana. Now these are freshwater fish, but they're a predatory freshwater fish. Paul has I think Paul has two of them. Very big. Oh, oh, oh. We might be able to do some minnows. Can we do some minnows? I don't see any ghost shrimp. So one of the employees just told me that they're getting their shipment of shrimp in at 3 o'clock and there's going to be a whole shipment. So for the meantime, we are going to pick up some of these minnows right here and try to feed them, see if he likes them. But we are also going to come back later and pick up some more shrimp. These are just regular little mosquito fish, little minnows. Everything pretty much feeds on these guys. I'm gonna add a couple to the octopus tank, a couple other tanks, and see what happens. Are you excited? Yeah. The octopus will come out and eat it. Yes, maybe. You got the PC mask on? Oh, oh hello there, buddy. Hey, that is the cutest. Oh my god, you're adorable. He just came up to him. This is my green dog, literally. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. this looks exactly like Paul's dog, but this is a boy, so he's a little bigger. This looks exactly like Bailey. But oh my gosh. Look at his face. Look at his face. Four years old today. Four years old today. <laughs> is he getting a little treat for his birthday? Whatever he wants. Whatever he wants, he gets to pick it out. That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, so we just left Pet Supermarket. Like I said, they didn't have shrimp right now, but they are getting a shipment in in about three hours. So we're gonna head so we're gonna head there. So we're gonna head back in about three hours. Try to feed them the mosquito fish. Once we're done with that, or well once we find out if he eats them or not. If he doesn't, we will come back and get the ghost shrimp, I promise you. But in the meantime, we're gonna head home and see what happens. Okay, and here we are. So, this is a new aquarium for our octopus. As you guys know, he was in my room in that aquarium. It was a 40 gallon, just a rimless, and I had a top on it and everything. And it was a good aquarium, never tried to escape or anything, but it was almost too big for him. Like, and I know that's not too big for him, but too big to film. I could never find him when he's in there because of how much space he had and how much area. He could literally hide through any rock. Never saw him. This way, I put him in this tank, and this is a 16 gallon. Yes, once he gets bigger, we will obviously move him. He's still very tiny. So we moved him in here, and this way, we'll be able to see him a lot easier. He has this one big rock structure that has holes in it and stuff that he goes in. He's actually in one right now. I saw him earlier. I think I'm gonna add one of them in here and just see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. He sees him, he sees him. Look at him, look at him. Mantis shrimp. Oh, oh, oh. 
And I've never put in live minnows. I usually do invertebrates or crabs and stuff like that. So he smells them. He's just gonna try to find one. Look at how cool this animal is. Unbelievable. All right, now I'm going to add the rest of these guys into this tank and then I'll, I'll probably add half of them into this tank and then the other half in another tank. I don't know, but we're gonna see if he comes out for them. Now these are freshwater minnows, but they will live in the salt water for a good amount of time actually. Add that much right there. We got probably half a dozen minnows in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, about half a dozen, maybe a little more. But as you can see, they're in there right now swimming around and we're gonna wait and see if he either smells them, sees them, and comes out and tries to hunt for one. Now you're probably wondering why the lights are off. The lights are off because he will not come out if the lights are on. So therefore I just turn them off and I have a little light from this aquarium next to me that you know just gives it enough light to see and film it at least. But um yeah I'm not seeing him as of right now he usually if you see right in there, he's usually right in that hole, and you'll see his head sometimes pop out. I don't see him. Oh, I see a little. All right, so I put the minnows in. I think I'm gonna leave the tank alone. I'm obviously gonna look at it a little longer and see if he comes out. If not, then he's probably just nervous right now. I don't know. Some fish get nervous when there's a camera out or if I'm in front of the tank. They've never seen it, and especially octopus. They're smart as crap. So I know he knows. He sees this, he's like, what is that thing? So he could be scared. But we're gonna give it time. He's gonna get used to us and hopefully he starts eating in front of us. I think I'm gonna pick up the camera in about an hour or so. Okay, so our octopus, he hasn't came out yet. It's still daylight outside. And usually, I mean, they're really smart animals. Usually they'll know when it's nighttime out. And obviously it's a lot darker in the room and all the aquarium lights are off. So they do come out. I saw him this morning in a little rock. So I figured that he was getting a little more comfortable because usually I don't see him at all and this time I saw him like kind of peeking his head out so I tried to feed him today but he didn't eat I, I didn't see him eat it today so I'm guessing we're just gonna have to keep trying I know eventually we're gonna get him out there's people I've seen on YouTube people with octopuses and they've had they have them actually trained and stuff so I'm gonna try to train him get him used to me also I know a lot of people are probably gonna say don't let him see the other aquariums and stuff this aquarium right here this nano if he even wanted to try to get out, he can't. I got it all sealed up, all blocked off. I got a rock on top of it that it, so he can't lift the lid up. So yeah, it's, it's sealed off and good to go. Um, we're just gonna wait for him to just kind of get used to us and then try to feed him again. But other than that, he's doing awesome. I wish, I'm still gonna try to get a, a shot of him. If he comes out tonight, I'll definitely pick the camera back up and get a shot of him so you guys can see how he's doing and get a little update on him. Other than that though, seahorses, also, we did just get all the aquariums service cleaned out and water changes. Every single aquarium that I have. And um, we're gonna be doing that four times a week. There's gonna be a company that comes out and services all the aquariums, make sure everything's going smooth, check the water, and and basically just so we don't have any problems in the future. I Obviously, I have a lot of aquariums, so it's hard to keep up with every single one and film it and everything. So I got some help. So a good buddy of mine that actually owns a service uh, aquarium service company. He's gonna come to the house four times a month to all the aquariums, make sure everything is going good. Also, we're gonna be switching out these black little stands with real nice stands. So that's gonna be pretty sick. Also, Manta Shrimp doing awesome, and we moved our seahorses back after we rescaped this tank just because we had some problems with Miles' tank so we just got a water change and got a new little scape just because the seahorses do like it a lot more open and stuff so I made it more open and they are doing awesome we got one little one right there Let's see if we can find a big oh I see a big one right in there and they hide throughout all these rocks it's really really cool but that tank looks amazing feeding the seahorses right now they are munching we got a little baby and the big guy right there also, we got this one, and there's one hiding somewhere. There's always one hiding, I swear. You can never find them, and then we'll find them last minute. Look at them. Oh, oh, oh. Boom, got him. So sick. Oh, you hear them. You hear them, like, boom. Okay, I see his tentacles. Do you see his tentacles right there? He's. I just put brine shrimp, and he's trying to get them. He's trying to get them. And yeah, so now I'm on my phone because I did see him out and then he shot right back into the rock as soon as I grabbed my phone. So, um, I'm just gonna keep trying. And like I said, if I see him in, before I posted my next video, after this video, I'll add it to that video just so you guys can see him. 
But um, yeah, seahorses are doing a are doing great. All the tanks are doing awesome. We got a schedule coming to do all the water changes and maintenance on the tank, so we do not have any problems in the future anymore. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.